Thank you, Rashad. That was amazing. Um, this is why I like this event every year. It's like you come out and you feel uh, so energized and inspired. And um, So I am here very excited to introduce our lecturer. I am Cheryl Lianza. I am the policy advisor for the United Church of Christ's Media Justice Ministry, OC Inc. And we, um, at last summer's General Synod, the United Church of Christ adopted a resolution declaring ourselves uh, as an Im immigrant welcoming denomination. And we are delighted to welcome, again, this, uh, our lecturer, someone whose career has been dedicated to building a society where every person is welcome, no matter where they come from. Rinku Sen's work is inspired by, in part, by her own experience as an immigrant. She invited, she arrived at the United States as a little girl from India, learned to speak English in a two-room schoolhouse in New England. Rinku Sen is perfectly suited to present the Parker Lecture because she possesses expertise in the areas of racial justice, organizing, and journalism. Rinku has impressive credentials, a master's degree in journalism from Columbia and a degree in women's studies from Brown. Even more impressive are her results. She honed her activist chops at the Center for Third World Organizing, training organizers and developing public policy campaigns. She is the author of two books, 2003's Stir It Up, which provided a new roadmap for effective community organizing, integrating fresh perspectives on race, gender, class, poverty, and sexuality. She went on to write The Accidental American, which told the story of Moroccan immigrant Fakak Mamdou, who co-founded the Restaurant Opportunity Center of New York in the aftermath of 9-11. As president and executive director of Race Forward, the Center for Racial Justice Innovation, Rinku transformed the organization's magazine, Color Lines, into a news website that focused on such issues as voting rights, police violence, and immigration. She understood that, the qual that quality news coverage about the impact of racism on our society is not only critically important, but was sadly lacking. Race Forward has focused on how to shift the media narrative and sees that narrative as, as an essential component of the broader racial justice work. For example, Rinku was the architect of the Drop the I Word campaign, which led major US news organizations to change their style when referring to undocumented immigrants, getting rid of that I word, illegal. She taught that changing a Seemingly simple adjective can lead to a change in reality and that it can have a profound influence on our public policy debates. So after 10 years at the helm of Race Forward, Rinku has now stepped into a new role as an organization's senior strategist following its merger earlier this year with the Center for Social Inclusion. We felt this year's lecture provided a wonderful opportunity for us to benefit from her brand of reflective writing and thinking and to hear her thoughts after so many years of energetic activism on the front lines of racial justice work as she prepares for her next chapter. So I am really delighted to introduce this year's Parker Lecturer, Rinku Sen. 